For this Chef Talk with Kyle Cherick, I sit down with Patrick O'Halloran of Lombardino's. As much as Lombardino's is an institution, Chef O'Halloran is a cornerstone of the Madison dining scene. It's Chef Talk with Kyle Cherick and Chef Patrick O'Halloran here at Lombardino's. How does a nice Irish boy end up owning one of the most hallmark Italian restaurants. Um, <laughs> you know? Yeah, I am an Irishman from the south side of Milwaukee. My dad was a f big Irish family. Cool. And, um, you know, I started uh, going to UW Milwaukee. Then I went to Milwaukee Institute of Art and Design. Always kind of artistic leaning, mm -hmm. but the whole time working in restaurants. Um, as a waiter, and then I started cooking and really got an opportunity with Scott Shelley from Shelley's Catering at Thienesville mm -hmm. when I spent eight years there. I was his apprentice for three of those years, and then he was kind enough to take me to Europe with him and leave me behind for a few months to work in Switzerland. Wow. So I got a chance to work in the hotels that he had worked in 20 the, years prior. The true brig brigade. Yeah. Escoffier high style. Yeah, I yeah. sat in the corner and chopped onions for three months, but right. it was an experience you can't trade. Yeah. Um, and spent some time there in Switzerland, in the Alps, and in Zurich, and in Bern, the capital city, which was beautiful. Mm -hmm. But then, um, when I was done with that, I took the train south. And once we crossed the border into Italy, then I knew that was what I wanted to do. It's every when cell it went, it went from German ordered everything on time kind of impolite society to broken down trains, garbage, <laughs> strings of laundry, people talking with their hands, food that was just incredible. Yeah, so, um, full of life, brimming yeah. with life force. So yeah. I, sent, I ended up on a farm there with a, a friend of mine knew a guy from Italy and uh, who had come to Wisconsin as a foreign exchange student, set me up, I went to the family farm in Emilia Romagna on a hill next to a castle overlooking the Adriatic and you know, made uh, ravioli with mama on the table, and they right. had prosciuttos hanging in the bedroom, and drinking wine out of jelly jars. The only real modern convenience they were rolling with was a like a two thousand dollar professional meat slicer for the prosciutto that they rolled out of a closet. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, everything was pretty primitive, but it was incredible. Yeah, it was a li that was a life changing experience, and I still go back to that. That's the style of cooking I like: Italian grandmas, Mexican grandmas. Um, I'm much more of a chef that likes extra napkins than putting tweezers on a plate. Mm -hmm. I like you to have, I like to come out and look in the dining room and see that, that local Pin Oak Ridge lamb chop that someone's holding it and eating it off the bone with their hands. That makes me smile, <laughs> so. You bought a institution in, in Madison yeah. mm -hmm. and in the Midwest to a certain extent. So, you know, every restaurateur, there's only one voice in a kitchen, right? Yeah. You come in, you want to make changes, but you couldn't swing too far outside of the square that had yeah. already been painted on the floor. What we have is, uh, we're the fourth owners of this restaurant. Um, Matt Lombardino ran it from 52 to 67. Mm -hmm. Then the Malio family, who worked for the Lombardinos, had it from 67 till 90, raised their whole family here, all their kids worked here, and they actually still come back and they're very happy to see the restaurant jumping and busy. And then there was a 10 year period where it kind of fell on hard times. Mm -hmm. And then we came in and were able to buy the restaurant mm -hmm. and had a little buyer's remorse when we got the keys and saw the daunting amount of work that it was going to take to bring this place back to life. What the hell did we just e do? Exactly. Yeah. So um, it took months of cleaning, painting, um, and then we were able to buy the building a few years later. So that's when we did plumbing, electrical, everything new in the kitchen, heating, air conditioning, hundreds wow. of thousands of dollars worth of improvements. Yeah. And now we're in our 15th year and so we're going to we're tackling the facade this summer. So there's a mural on the facade that we're gonna restore and yeah. you know, just kind of bring the outside back to life. Um, but it was a daunting task because you know everyone knows this restaurant. Right, um, and everybody's got a memory. Mm -hmm. I mean, oh, yeah. Eisenhower was an office, dude. <laughs> like, think of it in that. Our clientele, there's a lot of older UW grads. Yeah. West High is right up the street. They're coming back 50 years after they had prom here and that just happy to see it booming. Right. And it still has the same feel, the same vibe. Yeah. You know, what we did, we closed for three months to get it cleaned up and ready to go. Most of the phone calls we took didn't care about the food. They wanted to make sure we weren't destroying 
the ambiance sure. that is Lombardino. Sure. So we assured them that we were going to work on the, improving the food, and we were just dusting all this crap off, and we weren't getting rid of, rid of any of it. <laughs> and I had cooks all along who were excited when we would bring make these steps. Yeah. Um, and taking it from what it was, where you never knew if the exhaust hood would come on from day to day. <laughs> <laughs> Every time you went in the basement, you had to flick the switch, just hope it would come on. And it was literally a lawnmower engine on the side of the building, <laughs> um, which would never pass code. And so, right. you know, so we've spent all these years repairing the infrastructure here, repairing the name. And that was the delight of seeing the Malios come in just a week ago. Ted Malio ran this place for years, raised his family here, opens the door to the kitchen and beaming, just happy to see his place continuing. You know? Yeah. Party fillets. One is rare. Some fillet, one rare. One chicken. Party style. Seven party salmons. 